Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science in real numbers and sets of real numbers. A real number is a number that can be found on the number line. These are the numbers that we normally use in applying real world applications. This diagram outlines real numbers. In the middle are natural numbers, which include the counting numbers. Natural numbers are represented by an N. Whole numbers include natural numbers and zero. Whole numbers are represented by a W. Integers include whole numbers and their opposites. For example, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3, etc. Integers are represented with a Z. Rational numbers can be represented as a fraction or ratio. They include fractions and decimals, including terminating decimals and recurring decimals. They're represented by a Q. Irrational numbers include non-terminating decimal and non-repeating decimals. Pi is an example. They're represented by I. Let's look at some examples and name the set or sets in which they belong. Up first we have an 11. An 11 is a natural number, a whole number, an integer, a rational number, and a real number. So it is a NWZQR. Negative 14 is, it's not natural, it is not whole, but it starts as an integer. It's an integer, it's also a rational number, and a real number. So it is a ZQR. 5.4772255750. Is a non recurring um, decimal. Therefore, it is an irrational number and is represented by an I and it's also a real number. Okay? Next, we have the fraction 17 over 3. If you divide the 17 divided by 3, it becomes 5.66666, which is a recurring decimal. So it is a rational number it's also a real number next we have pi and pi is an irrational number and it's a real number so it is an i and r because it is a non-terminating non-repeating decimal square root of zero square root of zero is zero so it's going to be a whole number it's going to be an integer, it's going to be a rational number, and a real number. So zero, square root of zero, is WZQR. This next one's a little tricky, negative 16 over negative 2. When you divide these two, it becomes 8. And 8 is a natural number, a whole number, an integer, a rational number, and a real number. So it's a NWZQR. And then last, number one, excuse me, negative one is a integer. It is also a rational number and is a real number. It is a ZQR. I hope that helps with numbers, real numbers, and their sets. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.